first you would lay this straight edge diagonally because you want to mark your center point because we're going to create a wheel out of this so you mark that Now we've established the center of that piece of material. It's pretty dense fiberboard, but it is wood. Plastic's a little hard to come by. A lot of people can't seem to locate a supplier for the plastics. I'm lucky enough to be close enough to a manufacturer to get surplus remnant pieces. A lot of the stuff I'm going to be building here, I'm going to build out of wood. It's easier to get your hands on, and so long as the wheel's made out of a dense fiber, it should be okay. I mean. The whole point is to make the wheel spin on the other side of a safety guard so you're not in the line of fire anyway. Okay. The best way to do this here is to establish the center of, of the wheel. And I'm going to do that by uh, creating a small point that is the index center of the wheel. Now from this point on, that is the center of the wheel. Make sure it's in there good. Okay. Now once that's marked, we're going to use the magnetic alignment guide. It might be a little hard for you to see uh, because it's on transparency. and uh, This is the best material to use for this. So That little mark we just made, now we're going to establish the little crosshair in the middle of the magnetic alignment guide. Uh, across where we marked this from corner to corner uh, lines up with those two just as a matter of precision here. And you want to make sure if you get this wrong it's going to mess everything up so make sure you get dead center of that. Now these pins have to line up with these lines because they are what will establish the outside parameter of the wheel and the marking will extend past where you're going to route the wheel. So let's start with this one right here. So we put that exactly on the line. Now we got two which is going to establish that line. So what we're going to do here is a straight edge. If this comes out you have to make sure you put it right back where it belongs. So, so there we've established that that first line. So what we're going to do here is mark It doesn't matter in the center because where it, where it matters is on the outside edge. So by pushing this up against those two points and just go right outside of the mess it up, turn the top. Go right on the outside of the sheet and just draw that line. Just remember, precision, precision. This is a critical part to how this wheel works. Now, even if you have the magnets off, if you're using sequentially pulsed coils, they're going to align themselves and fire at the right moment. So it could be a little off if that's your plan to trigger each coil indiv individually. Um, but if you plan on triggering more than one coil, it's crucial that these all fire at the same time and at the same point on the magnets so the spacing is crucial in that case
Now, you'll, you'll notice when I pin this, I'm pinning it right on the line, but because the pen has width at the base, it's just enough for this pencil to create the line, and you're, so long as you're pushed up against those pens correctly, uh, your line will extend that line out to the edge. That should be enough for you to get the idea. We just pull the pen, move the pen, always establishing that there's two pins in the alignment guide. As we pull one of the pins, the third pin to move around to create the line. So this guide never moves from the center point. And you work around it like that, you've got it. Your, your points are marked all the way around the outside edge you know because when you route this wheel the the line will show up at the very edge of the wheel uh, we'll have some other videos explaining how to route the wheel mount the magnets how to balance the wheel before you start putting coils magnetic coils around the wheel you have to establish that the wheel is perfectly balanced. I want to show you a couple of tools I built just for this purpose. Um, they're pretty simple. Um, this is my adapter for my router. So by establishing this, the point I want to make that, I can mount my router and move the router around the wheel and cut a perfect circle. Establish the shaft size that I'm going to use for the motor create a small tool that allows me to drill a straight hole and then I use a regular drill because obviously a drill press you're not going to get this under a drill press that would allow you to have the shaft size of the motor um, a hole in the middle and we're going to use that for the pivot point in order to balance this wheel out and ensure it's perfectly round and centered you want to establish the shaft size in the material so there are no issues with things going to be running more than a thousand rpm so it's critical that this wheel is able to be balanced and precisely uh, created you're going to need a tool similar to this this is actually a little easier if you have uh, other kind of router that's uh, the big two-handle job because what you can do is just use a flat plate of plexiglass or even wood to create this piece and you mount the router out on the edge you determine the distance and then you drill a hole the size of the shaft of the motor and that would give you the perfect radius for the wheel for now this is technomancer for zero point fuel signing out